In Dead by Daylight, nine hooks can be three kills, or it can simply be one. In today's boot camp video, we're taking a look at a pig player who's mechanically very skilled and getting a lot of hooks, but not getting the right hooks and taking the right chases to end the game faster for their favor. Like, I, I feel like I'm, like, I have a main that I'm kind of comfortable with, <laughs> but I, there's like some things that I'm like, I'm not so sure about. Like, I don't know how I feel about some of the mind games that I do sometimes, and I'm Sometimes pretty terrible, like tracking survivors. I loop myself like all the time and I don't know. Ah, okay. It's not too yeah. bad. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Nice. Pretty standard stuff. So they're probably going to be over here, over there. I'd say it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Though sometimes I just like, I, I search every single gen and find absolutely nothing sometimes, so... Yeah, I think you have good instinct of they're they're gonna spawn typically pretty far from you. Um, but yeah, so probably that one then. Okay, there's nothing so, happening. So go back. I uh, that's tough. I would I would check where you originally checked one more time. Some people will just crouch and wait. So did you hear something? Nope, no. So maybe main building. No. I, I should not be crouching now. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh. Yeah. Yep. This this happens a lot. That's okay. It's it's multiple people on one gen versus three people on three gens. Not bad. I do have perks for this. Is that the injured one? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, they split up a bit. It's not too bad. Nice, okay. So I was trying to W away. Might. I don't make that. Oh, what? He what? doesn't either. <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna say, they were a little further than you. Uh, two people misplayed, that's all right. That's, that's solo queue, that's what happens. I'm really surprised I made that, but okay. Yeah, they they misjudged your distance. They dead hard because they thought you were going to hit. <laughs> and then uh, they tried to get the pallet. You were... The thick thighs were in the way. I'm not going to complain. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So... Actually, no. Yeah, I would stick on the chase. If, if there were two people here or something, but typically... If you kick work. it... Oh. Oh, Vittorio turned into Elodie. <laughs> okay. I would I would actually turn around and chase Vittorio um, because she's going to go unhook and and Vittorio is going to slam a gen. So, oh, true. you know, you want to keep people kind of just spread out doing separate things, you know. Yeah, so she went and unhooked. Oh, he's still here. Yeah, good job. You heard him. He's maybe got dead hard. Maybe wait that out. Yeah, good wait. There you go. And then before you pick them up, then you can like kick the gens and you know let them do their thing. Okay. And now because you injured Elodie, um, your totem's actually giving you value. Because with that perk, if you down the person that procked it, it goes away again. It's very strange. I I do like face the darkness a lot. Yeah, it's it's a little bit busted in some builds, but it's fun. I don't know if I've ever felt it being busted, but I felt it being very good. It's it's really tough if you use like thrill of the hunt, because then doing a totem takes so long that you usually will scream and you have to restart the progress of the totem and they can never cleanse it. It becomes like a little bit rough. <laughs> um, especially against like pig, where you'll be in the middle of your trap timer and then you scream and then you have to restart again. Ooh, she, okay. had, she had the right idea. That was a good crouch in the middle of the pallet there. Good work. Three traps out. One one trap's already off, but no big deal. It's doing its job. I, I sort of just, like, put them on, like, as soon as I get someone down. This is going really, really well so far, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just some small adjustments of, of, yeah, be sure, like, it's good to... You might think that, like, oh, chase the person back to the hook and then catch them. But um, not, not always. You kind of want them to unhook and heal and then get the trap off. And It's a bunch of time not on gens. 
Okay, so we know that they might be near the combine and out there in the corner. Seems like they're not splitting up too hard. So I think that LT wall will probably pop soon. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, they got that, I think. Nice. Or not. Oh, nice. Shoot. And somebody was totem. That's okay. Because somebody somebody doing the totem means they're not on gens, and so it, it served a good purpose. I'm doing all right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not really how you use that. Yeah, they 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 were they were there. If they didn't get stuck, it may have been different. But... Okay, so that's two tr active traps. Good double back here. Yeah, give them the slow vault. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's dead hard. That's all right. We all do it. I've done it. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Nice. Pallet, huh? Oh. Go ahead. So two people have to get their traps off. Only one person could be on a gen right now, so it's you're not at the end of the world. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That kind of worked out actually. <laughs> okay. They kind of fix it. Uh, I I don't know. I have a hard time just sliding over anymore. I feel like I have to swing again, which is how it used to be. Cool. Get your last trap out. Not bad. Good. Oh, good I forgot I have pressure. a trap left. Mm, you probably could drop him and then pop it on. Yeah, I think, just I think you'd be put fine. him down right here. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's all right. Okay. So I think I saw them here. That's got to be the Elodie, yeah, because everybody else should be getting their boxes. This gives you time to do a lot of regression, and I think it's very smart for her to sort of immerse here. Is she? <laughs> Should I mean, who knows here? at this point? You, yeah, you've been close enough for long enough that she could have just bailed. I, I, I don't really mean to... Yeah, he kind of ran at you. That, it's a judgment call. At that point, I'd be like, I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> that feels a little... I know, DS-like. <laughs> kind of. I think oftentimes, survivors that just aren't paying attention will do that. And it's just not paying attention, <laughs> quite yeah. frankly. Okay. Oh, this is happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just go ahead and they'll go heal out and waste a little bit of time eventually, so. This is smart. You've hooked him before, so hooking him again is a good, good thing to do. I don't know if that was the intentional call or if you just, you just kind of followed your gut. But I kind of actually wanted Elodie, but he was the person I found first. Oh, that scared me. Hi, Ollie. How are you doing, friend? Hi. Good to see you. She's going to throw this right away, or... If you're not... Ooh. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, that's that's the hardest part of that dash. <laughs> nice. She didn't have anything, though. Ooh! Oh! Ooh! All right. We hadn't seen a dead heart out of her. That was a strong dead heart. Yeah, she she played that damn well perfectly. Okay, so I wouldn't There's I wouldn't. Else here. Yeah, that's uh, a tough call. They ran oh, early. Yeah, that was smart of them. That's always a tough call to break off for a gen because if it was a healthy person, it's usually a huge waste of time. Uh, this is the thing I was talking about. Yeah. They, they're just gone, and I don't know what happened. That's okay. You were chasing really old scratches, um, so it's kind of hard to tell. I would probably return to, like, gen-oriented areas and stuff. Someone could be back at this one. 
Ouch. Yeah. Oh, there, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that was good. Good call there. B West, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Oh, that actually good worked. Good down. Yeah, was, that was a risky one. I usually don't dash from outside the pallet like that, but... Yeah, that one was, uh, yeah, it was a bit risky, but it worked out. Woke up like an I hour ago. Hey, that. good. I'm good. I have a, he I have I a raging a headache, uh, to be fair, though, Ollie. It, yeah, my head's yeah. killing me. Yeah, so you're you're in a tougher spot now. Enough pressure was kind of let up that one person has to unhook, one has to get their trap off, and you're in a chase. So you're not in a bad spot, but you need a, a down pretty quick. Yeah, I'm. I, it's been feeling like I've been doing really well, but now I'm looking how many gems are left. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean you have been doing well. It's just. It's not a bad map. Um, there must be a, yeah, there must have been a pallet there. Good use. Another pallet. She might leave again. Good job, good catch. Smart. I know she's smart, so sometimes you have to do things like that. Yep, that's 100% the right move. Yeah, like, okay, she, she faked it last time and she ran away, so we're gonna, we're gonna hope that, and bank on that behavior again. I think that's a really good thought process. And we're a little bit further in. E West, I'm good, man. I'm good. might be on that gen over there. Life has been really good, my friend. We should catch up sometime, yeah? Send me a Discord uh, DM. I haven't been using my stealth too much. To be fair, it's kind of the weakest part of the kit, in my opinion. So. It's really slow. Oh, this is a three gen. I didn't even know. Can be, yeah. Shack in the middle makes it kind of a pain, even if it's just Shack window, but. Nice. Okay. 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 So. Hold this a little bit. So that's, I mean, that's going to regress. I don't know if anyone's around here, but Brian will tell you if anyone's hitting skill checks. At this point, kick this one and then be on your way, because if you don't get a chase, four people up against a three gen, you won't be able to defend it. Hooked pretty evenly. That's not great. It's not Great. It's probably near where the unhook was. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So what it was that or it was all the way near main building, which is like, meh. Wow. Caught her out. Okay. Get back so, on it. That's okay. I think she still has this pallet too. She does. That's okay. That gen was at 5% maybe. So if, if it's two people, you still have about 45 seconds. I feel like I've been chasing this LED my entire life. <laughs> See if she she vaults it. She does. Yep. Ooh, she might. She makes this with that hard. Or there we go. Thank could... you, eruption. Yep, that was good. And then I would actually hook. Well, yeah, I would More hook like right here. here. Yeah, I, I would hook closer to the gen that just erupted, because cause then they're not just going to sit on it, you know what I mean? Because that's the gen with the most progress. Obviously, it's they can't sit on it with the eruption, but... Yeah, everyone two hook is a, is a... Well, I think one person's one hook. There's a fast unhook, too. Damn. They're putting some pressure on you. I, I don't think I was counting hook stages very well, because I thought she was dead, honestly. That's mm. not good. Yeah. I, I don't want to chase him out there. Smart. So your best bet, yeah. Is she healing herself? That med kit's giving her a lot of value. I don't know that I'd take this chase. Maybe hit her and then maybe stealth up and try to get a hit on that. Because there's somebody on that gen, you know. That one over there. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh! Yep, yep. That's, yeah, that's that what was I was worried than... about. That was two people, yeah. They did a good job. I think this has been a really close game. This is one of those matches where there's there's not obvious huge problems to talk about, but there there are things that are like going to be beneficial. Yeah. Okay. 
I feel like I did really well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I did really well did. as yep. I hit a dead hard. Well, I mean, you know. Uh, you did. I mean, your hook states kind of speak for that. Um, 8 out of 12 ain't bad. And realistically... Realistically, you'll you'll probably get 1k, maybe 2? Um, uh, so, that's not bad at all. Oh. Nice. Watch for any flashy. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I know what you have in your hand. Probably gonna come back around and use it too. Yeah. Yeah. If I think Kate might be dead hook. Um... Ooh! <laughs> I forgot I had that. Forgot, yeah, I forgot I had that. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just say if if you hook her, then kind of the pressure for the end game's gone, and everyone would just probably pop the doors and leave. I think she's dead hook. Yeah. So. One K. Yeah, everybody's dead. Yeah, one K nine hook. That's not bad. That's 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 a game that like I feel good about, you know, because we could talk about like efficiency and stuff later. But um, ooh, did they get this one open? They did. They yep. just got it open. Good stuff. Hello. Oh. I think you did phenomenally. I think I want to start there. Um, I actually would love to see a ton of GGs in the chat, um, just because I I think that. That was a really, really solid um, match. Uh, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of good in there. I, I think that your ability to track, I mean, the LT wall, like you you ran that tile several times and, and you tracked fairly well. Your mind games are good. You're trying to moonwalk. You're trying to like get people to slip up. And like, I think the one thing I kind of want to point out here, and we talked about it in the moment, so I don't want to stick on it too long, but um, having both the LOD and um, Vittorio behind you. I think just the cadence of a match, you definitely always want to, you know, obviously somebody's hooked and then hitting her, I think was the right move because she's going to bounce out and, and unhook him. And then Vittorio would just sit on this gen ordinarily. But now that you're going to chase Vittorio, that means that like only Kate's going to be on a gen. Um, and because you hit the LOD, these two are likely to heal each other. So because I think if you if you chase Elodie, I think what happens is this gen gets done way earlier than it needs to, and then Kate does another gen. And I think that Elodie would beat you to the hook, so she would unhook him, so you would just have a hook trade and less pressure total, if that makes sense. So this is where I think the match kind of turns its tide a little bit. I think the survivors were kind of getting a, a taste for how strong you were playing, and you'll see this in a lot of games, but I think they started to kind of learn like, okay, you, you, you are playing pretty well. So at this point, you've hooked um, two Vittorios and uh, a Kate. The way I would do this is I just wouldn't touch Elodie anymore um, it, it, because, you know, you need to get someone on stage two. I don't know, may maybe put Kate on stage two and then kill somebody off. Something like that, right? The, the whole thing is you got nine hooks. So it kind of ended up looking like this where you were going through and hooking everybody two times and then you got that. That's kind of how you ended. Um, yeah versus if you'd gone through and been like okay hook you hook you hook you maybe go back to you find you again maybe get you okay now that's death now that's death that's still that's eight hooks right there right so you you with nine hooks the same amount of effort nine hooks could have got you a 3k versus just you know a, a 1k so i think i think in this case counting your hook states and you don't always choose who you get in a chase with right you might bump into somebody and be like damn i didn't know um Chat, can we get all kinds of GGs for Maple?